Hello all and welcome to this evening's beer, well I guess it's not even evening, it's late night because it's a post-work beer review, which I am going to be dubbing the my refrigerator broke beer review. <laughs> I probably shouldn't notice, notice that you know the past couple of weeks when I realized I didn't have to go and let my beers really warm up a little bit you know um, they seem to be coming out of the fridge at the correct temperature and also too that I seem to be having more gastric distress than usual you know so my refrigerator was probably really at elevated temperature to so the point where like a couple nights ago I would go over there and it's like barely cooler than the outside room and yeah, so apparently the defroster in my freezer broke, so like all my coils froze up, and that is why my refrigerator stopped working for a bit. Um, but that's fine. That's why we have beer now. And um, I'm wearing my Medicar hat because I got a new piece of Medicar merch here. God bless America. <laughs> you can see the dancing pudding over there. Uh, firing off weapons and smoking a cigarette. Uh, again, again, I, I really love, um, you know, Mr. Medicare's humor, but it really is something you only get if you spend way too much time on the internet. <laughs> and, like, not, not even in the sense, like, Tosh, 5.0 or whatever that show was where you make jokes about internet things. It's more about just like obscure internet drama that he goes and rips off of and things like that. And he just does it in this really plain spoken um, Midwestern way. He's got a Minnesota accent and everything. <laughs> so yeah, um, you know, so I, I don't have any guilt about buying his merch and he recently released a beer glass so yeah we're gonna go and break it in today so without much further ado what are we reviewing we are reviewing Lagunitas Daytime Session IPA this is 4.0 ABV and uh, let's go read the label now shall we and god damn this is getting harder and harder as I get older and older but then this is like dark blue on lighter blue, so please forgive me. Partly sunny or partly cloudy? Half empty or halfway to another? Best to just go with the flow. As only 4. Point, at only 4.0 ABV and just 98 calories and 3 carbs, this kind of frees up a, a lot of space in the old schedule for bigger fish to fry. Head out for a hike or just chill and watch the grass grow. You got plenty of daytime. Okay, so not going to be the most complex beer. Obviously, this is a session beer. As you know, I love me session beers. Just as much as I love me hats. Probably why I've been getting so much head for my beers the past few weeks, too, if you guys have noticed. You know, so now I have a properly cold can. You know, not massive head. Okay, so we got lemon citrus zest. Bright lemon citrus zest. Underneath that, um, some crackery malts. Honestly, it just really smells a lot like a golden ale with amped up, you know, um, hopping. And kind of looks like a golden ale too, sort of a cloudy straw yellow. Onto the palette now, shall we? Mm. Yeah, 
So you kind of have some lemon lemoniness up front. Nice carbonation bite. Transitions to a sort of grassiness on the palate, um, along with some pithiness and just a lasting bittering finish, but it's not too intense, you know, so it still feels very sessionable, very light. Not too much hot, not too much malt presence in the mouthfeel. Um, at the same time, it doesn't seem to be going into the category of hop water, which is something that I used to call a lot of session IPAs until I developed a bit more of an appreciation for them. You know, in that kind of, I guess there is a little bit of tannicness, lasting tannic feel on the tongue on the palate and the long finish, but it's sort of balanced by a, a slight graininess in the top note in the long finish. Very subtle. Yeah, a person could uh, really get to enjoying this, you know? Again, not a beer that you're going to be drinking and really savoring all the complexity of flavors. It's um, it's just a nice, refreshing, drinkable beer that has some flavor oomph to it. You know, it's not just um, it's it it's not just beer flavored water. You know, there there's there's some. There's some dimensionality there. Oh, there's more verbiage on the top here. Let's just read that quickly. It's time to answer the age-old question. Really? Okay, it really does say that. Is the meniscus between half-empty and half-full... Concave or convex? Yes. I don't get it. I know what a meniscus is, and I kind of know what they're talking about, how it sits. Kind of hard to tell with the phone there, but I'm going to go and guess um, concave. Yeah. So yeah, kind of a short review. But again, this is a light beer, not not very complex, you know, but definitely hits a spot. Is it as great as Founders All Day IPA? Nah, that's pretty much my go-to session IPA, but uh you know this one's not bad. I wouldn't turn it down. You know? Um but yeah. So, a decent Lagunitas Daytime Session IPA. Decent enough, refreshing, crisp. Uh, yeah, give that a shot if that's your cup of tea or if you're having a good beach day. And that, folks, is your beer review for this late evening. Cheers.